In this video, I'm gonna share with you the best blitz in Madden 22. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day right here on my YouTube channel. All right guys, so like I said, in this video, we are breaking down what I believe to be the best defense or the best blitzing defense uh, in the entire game and it is the nickel 335 uh, odd I think the nickel 335 odd is so effective in this year's game for so many different reasons It's got great coverage, but it's also got great pressure and I also th really think that the alignment of the defense is actually very Advantageous to the defense. So I want to show you my favorite blitz in Madden right now And it's the LB cross 3 show 2 and if you want to get my full nickel 335 odd defensive guide, it actually shows you how to get this pressure by only sending three people, by only sending two people, by only sending four people. Uh, we're going to show you kind of the base pressure, but we have a ton of pressing pressure concepts off of that that make it even more effective, allow you to put more people in coverage. We also have some of the best coverage defenses that I've seen on the circuit in the Madden community this year. So if you want to get access to all of that, the entire game plan is on sale for just 15 bucks. And we are updating, we are committed to updating this guide as things change, as things are patched, as new things need to be adjusted. Um, we continue to update this guide for you. We actually have a major update for the defense going in probably today or tomorrow. So a lot of really good stuff in this defensive guide. And like I said, it's a one-time purchase of $15. So it's one time, 15 bucks, and you get the guide for the whole year. Anything in 335 odd that needs to be tweaked or changed, you get updated completely for free. So that being said, let's dive into LB Cross 3 Show 2. All right, guys, so the setup is really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to spread our defensive line. We're going to spread our linebackers. And then what's really important is we're actually going to reset our linebackers. And then once we reset our linebackers, we're going to crash our defensive line to the right. And then we're going to take this guy right here, and I like to put him into a middle read zone. And I like to shade my coverage down if I'm playing gun bunch. Um, and then I'm actually going to bring this safety down into the box. So I'm going to play man lock on to that solo receiver. And then I could do something, you know, if I needed to, to try to shut down any cover three bomb, I could deep half. Um, you know, I could I could deep half like something like this. This is probably my favorite coverage right here. Um, I'll put a cloud flat out there, and I'll put X in a deep half to the right side of the field. So you see here, this is a really good coverage. Obviously, the mid read will take a lot of vertical routes if there are vertical routes, and then it's also going to match on the post routes. But that being said, let me just show you the pressure here. Um, so the pressure here, like I said, that this is pretty much it. What I would recommend is kind of hovering right in here. I find this to be kind of the best spot. Hold left trigger. And at the snap of the ball, you're just going to kind of swoop in for just a second and then come out into coverage, just like so. And as you see, you get instant heat at the quarterback. Now, this is even better in mud. It's the better the, um, the better the guy there, uh, the better the blitz. So if you have Montez, the new Montez sweat card that came out today in Madden Ultimate Team, it's just going to help you be even more effective. Uh, one other thing you can do is you can also use some cross manning for your coverage. So you could do something as simple as this. This is going to prevent you from getting cover three bombed. Um, and then you're also going to be able just to have, you know, basic coverage, good basic coverage uh, on that side. I really do like to man this guy up, this solo receiver, because other than that, I mean, the outside third doesn't cover anything. So I just like to do that. And then now I know if there's anything from right to left that crosses, I know I have to go get that with my user. Um, you'll see here that if I blitz my user, I really want him to kind of be like right here. Um, this is kind of the ideal. So that being said, anyways, let's show you the pressure again. You see, you just come down, and as you see, the pressure is super consistent. Now, the beauty of this is that, let's say, for example, they block a tight end. This is one of the one of the best things that most people are doing right now at a gun bunch if they really want to pick up pressure is they're putting their tight end on a delay fade. That's like the most common thing that people are doing right now to pick up pressure. So that being said, I just want to show what this looks like if they do something like that. So if they do that, you should see here we're still able to get heat right off that left, left edge. So to me, that's super effective because, again, the number one way people are trying to pick up pressure is they're trying to block their tight end this year. It's the best way that I've found and a lot of people have found uh, to consistently pick up pressure out of gun bunch. Well, you're not necessarily able to do that in this year's game and be successful. So as you saw right there, we're able to continue to come in against against that pressure. Now, let me just show you what happens when you QB contain. This is another option that you can do. What you'll see when you QB contain is your looper. 
your looping pressure will be more consistent. It'll come in more more consistently when you do that. You'll still get the edge heat. I would say you just won't get the edge heat as consistently. Um, I find that the blitz angle is really important. So if you wanted to, what you could do is you could contain and then you could go ahead and just manually re-blitz that left side guy uh, to kind of create a little bit of an amoeba play. And now you see here really just super clean pressure. And like I said, you know, you got a better player there. Um, you're going to you're gonna be really, really good. Now against max protect, I will say that sometimes this does get picked up and the key word is sometimes. Sometimes it gets picked up, sometimes it doesn't. If I see match protect, I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive with my holding, uh, holding my guy down in the box a little bit here. But let's just show this to you. I'm blocking everybody, and we're just going to come this direction. And you see there. I mean, we didn't. If our left side guy came in, we would have had uh, complete, completely clean pressure against match protect. So let me show that one more time. The biggest thing is trying to get the running back to come down in the box. One little trick that you can do if you want to is you can man up on the running back just like this. Um, just man up on the running back. This also helps with your quick adjustments. So you'll see here, do that. And then as you see, you get an instant shed, come around the edge, and pretty still pretty good pressure for max protect. So again, it's not 100% fold. We do have pressures in the ebook that are 100% effective. Uh, against max protect this just doesn't happen to be one of those blitzes but it's still a very good pressure and it's it's very consistent it's going to force him to at least have to block the running back and again sometimes it will come through on max protect it's probably about a 50 percent chance that it's going to come through completely clean um, there's ways that you can make that those odds a little bit better uh, but we reserve those for our guide members so anyways that being said guys i want to thank you for watching this video like i said if you want to go ahead and uh, get the full offensive or the full defensive system how to pretty much lock down the entire uh the entire offensive uh circuit i would encourage you to go ahead and get the three through five odd defense it's the best defense that i've seen this year uh, i just think it does such a good job at combining coverage concepts and pressure concepts in one little package um, you get so so much consistency this year from that blitz maybe even better i think it's actually better than last year's 335 odd defense. So I would encourage you to go ahead and pick it up. There's a link in the description that you can click that will allow you to go get that defense for just 15 bucks. Thanks for watching the video. And this, in my opinion, is one of the best blitzes in the game right now.